153. They're nullifying each other completely. It's total stalemate. It's like watching two track, track sprinters on a velodrome. It is, and we're getting closer. 600 meters to the top of this climb. When does Pogaccia hit him? Because we know he can open up 20 meters in one big attack. But I think this time he knows he just needs to go for the bonus sprint. It's not about it. Never has a... Here there goes, goes. Pogaccia now. Big attack. Never has a bonus oh, sprint. The motorbikes. So important. These motorbikes need to get out the way. They have created a non-contest at the top of this. They should not have been there. That's a terrible moment. Those motorbikes should never have been there at 600 metres from a sprint. Nor is the crowd, actually. And the crowd also. Well, Pogaccia and Vengegaard riding their way to the top. What happens now? 373 metres to go. But a King of the Mountains point has never been so important. A King of the Mountains with bonus seconds on it. Pogaccia now just riding tempo. And what is going to happen here? Wasn't there a rule that they had the barriers off to finish at some point, or was it just made for the COVID? Just in the finish. Just in the finish. This is a mountain top. They have a road. Oars category fly, climb, there's just a rope. There'll be a few barriers just before the top, but never has a climb been this important. Pagacha is almost going to say, I think to Vengegaard, let's just ride over the top side by side, I think. 100 metres. They're not going for it. These two riders... Yes, Main, he is. Oh, Vengegaard is going to go and just hope that everything's all right. Vengegaard attacks. He goes for the top of the climb. Pogaccia is trying to get on terms. Here's the top of the Col de Juplan. Eight seconds, five and two. Counter-attack. Pogaccia now goes. He makes a move. Vengegaard immediately onto the wheel. Pogaccia is going to plunge down to Morzine to try and take the stage. So it flattens out now for about two kilometres.